As you can see here, this phone, which is a Samsung S20 FE, a low-end 6 gigabyte RAM, 865 chipset, is running RL Craft, one of the most popular mod packs on Java Minecraft. So popular that it went to Bedrock. Still have yet to try it. I've still yet to play it on really Java Minecraft. However, a lot of people ask, how do you get it set up? Today I'm going to show you that one last time because a lot of people don't pay attention to the fact that you need a decent device. However, my device, I am running this at 25% resolution. I allocated two gigabytes of RAM because that's all I could allocate. And it's in Snapdragon flagship chipset that's inside even though it's not a most powerful flagship chip flagship ship chip that's a tongue twister i can still get in and create a world and play decently now i'm gonna say decently because again not a gaming phone doesn't have performance modes and i'm gonna have a lot of slowdowns lag performance dips and all that fun jazz so with all that out of the way if you paid attention to this first part of this video, I put a free Java Minecraft account somewhere in this video for somebody to download a code for them to play Java Minecraft with my code that I'm giving you. As I've been you know, giving away a whole bunch of codes on the channel, hopefully to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of October, but we're almost there, we're almost there. So let's jump in and learn how to do this. Timestamps are linked in the description below. If you don't follow this video, I'm not going to help you with answering questions that I've already answered in this guide because this is not hard to set up. Now before we begin this, I'm going to let you know right away that if you didn't watch my official setup guide for Xaelith Launcher, then go watch that before you get into this. Also make sure you're on the latest version of Xaelith Launcher. As of today, I think it's 1.4.10. If you don't know how to do that, go to your settings, go down to game settings, scroll all the way down. Sorry, go to launcher settings, scroll all the way down, and you can actually check for updates right here. So yeah, 1.4.10. Now that out of the way. I highly recommend you, now this is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, to start off your resolution scaling for this mod pack at 30%, okay? Let's just start off at 30%. The other big thing to note is that this game settings right here allows us to allocate more RAM. This device has four gigs of RAM allocated right now, so 4,056 megabytes. What this means is that loading times will be better, loading mods will be better, and basically I can do that. Now, anybody that has a device that has anything lower than eight gigabytes of RAM, I do not recommend you to even bother trying RL Craft. You know why? Well, because after I got off the intro of this video, the six gigabyte RAM device ended up crashing. Anyways, so allocating more RAM does help when it comes to Java Minecraft. I can only allocate right here, five gigabytes of RAM, but I only keep it at a sweet spot. So I had a little bit left for 4,000 megabytes, which is four gigabytes of RAM. Never ever try to allocate your device's entire RAM because the free memory is what you have left that is free. I always like to keep it under a gig from that free memory, but that's just for another video. Now let's go home. Click on this download icon right beside the settings icon and go to mod packs on the left hand side. Scroll down until you see RL Craft. If you don't see it, then just search it in the search bar on the top right hand side. Now click on RL Craft. Now click on the arrow on the top right hand side where this little icon is, as you can see right here. Click on this and click on confirm. It's gonna bring you to a website. This website is the CurseForge website and we need to go down until we see Optifine, which is right here. So click on it and click on the next page, click on continue. And now you're gonna download Optifine 1.2, or sorry, 1.12.2, and you're gonna exit out of Google Chrome. Now that we've done that, download 1.12.2, the latest version, which is 2.9.3, and wait for it to install the mod pack. Now again, this is every step that you need to know. Allocating the RAM, which is very important, an eight gigabyte device you can get away with 3000 megabytes by the way this one has 12 a 16 gigabyte device i almost get away with six gigabytes of ram again all dependent on your device and even the chipset even if your device has eight gigabytes of ram if you have a mali gpu with low chipset specs your device probably won't 
work as good as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that's inside of this AYN Odin 2, which is linked in the description below as well. You can go buy one pretty cheap nowadays because they're a couple of years old. Now click on return, click return again, keep going. Now click on your launcher loaders. If you don't know how to do that, and videos are also in the playlist in the description below. Click on RL Craft, click return. Click on the settings icon beside RL Craft. Click on mod management. Now you're going to click on the plus icon in the middle icons down at the bottom right hand side, right beside where it shows the download button and the search button. And you're going to look for that OptiFine. So go to your three dots on the top right hand side, go to sort by modified, newest first, and we should see OptiFine. Now if it's not there, let's go to our download folder and there it is right there. Now we've imported OptiFine. The next thing I always turn off is dynamic surround, okay? Because dynamic surround causes some glitches with some devices with the water Water, basically the water is just white okay so make sure you turn dynamic surroundings off which is this one right here there's a couple other mods that we used to turn off back in the day like sound filter and all that kind of stuff but that doesn't need to be done anymore it works on Zaleth launcher fine so if you want to in like remove a lot of other mods you can go ahead and do so which does obviously help with the rendering and everything like that but that's all i really remove is dynamic surround because even on this device it causes issues now just launch the game that's all you have to do. This isn't really a hard concept if you followed all of these steps. If you didn't follow all these steps, which I can technically tell with some people, I know there's a lot of kids out there that wanna install RL Craft and play it on their phones. You're definitely needing to sit back, take a listen and follow this teaching guide that I'm giving to you for free. Yeah, I'm just doing this out of the goodness of teaching you guys how to play the game that you want to play on your Android phone. Now again, this is an Android gaming handheld, which has active cooling, has different performance tweaks and everything. As you can see here, I'm in high performance mode. This device is a beast, okay? Now, one big thing that I forgot to tell you guys, just to test, see if you made it this far, click on the settings icon, click on version settings, go down to your renderer, which is on the left-hand side, and change this to GL4ES, click save. Now the game will actually load. My mistake, my bad. If you didn't make it this far, I'm sorry. You need to listen to the video. And that's why I did that, because I knew that it was going to crash and I wanted to make sure that people would understand. Now, if you don't think anything is happening, go to your settings icon and like for your your Zealous launcher, which is right here, click on log output. As long as you see a whole bunch of stuff running right here, that means that stuff is going on. If you see anything stop right here, or if it goes black screen or nothing's going on at all, that means that there's a crash and your device is not rendering anything at all. And now we see the Mojang logo in the background. We can exit out of that and just wait for it to do its thing. Now, again, this is how to play RL Craft. I'll just show you really quickly getting into a world just so that you see that it goes into the world. I played this actually the other day on my Samsung S Elite or 8 Elite chipset and it was playing pretty decently well but I was also playing at 25% render distance or resolution and five render distance which is another thing you can set up all of the video settings you can tweak it so that it's lower video settings and all that kind of stuff and basically enjoy playing it on your Android device on the most part if you get crashes then maybe move on to another you know mod pack so like my render distance I'm going to change it down to just two just to get it there my fancy graphics I can change that to fast max smooth lighting turn that off there's a whole bunch of other performance tweaks you can do in here and performances with quality you can turn your mipmap levels down now the mipmap level changing does freeze the game for some reason and then it works after a few minutes uh your details you can change all this if you want to um also shaders if you have shaders you can try to test those out but again this is just basically how i do things at first and then if i find that everything is working great then i can go in and change these as i go along now i just lowered everything go to create new world click create new world again and we should be able to jump into our craft which is what you're here for on our android device or android gaming handheld or go play it on bedrock it's up to you never played it on there yet and here we go I'm playing on my Android phone or my Android gaming handheld. I'm in the water and I died because I was slain by a sea serpent. Yeah, I don't understand this mod pack. It always lands you inside of a... Yeah, why, why is it doing this again? I'm gonna die again, guys. Can you just land me on the ground? 
There we go. Now we're in the world. <laughs> oh, I died twice right away. And that wasn't out of the fault of my own, but that's this mod pack, I guess, for you. And you also turn off things like chunk animator and all that kind of stuff. I find that chunk animator kind of makes me sick feeling to my stomach, but that's all up to you if you like that. It also does help with performance. As you can see here, let's go to our real-time FPS. Right now, I'm getting... 800 plus FPS, which basically means that this can play decently well on this device at these resolutions. Don't forget, this is at like a low, low resolution, but if you like it like this, which doesn't look too bad when you're actually looking at the phone, maybe not on your screen right now, it will play all right. And again, chunk animator is what you can turn off this right here. And there's a whole bunch of like, as you can see here, it's taking a few seconds to load those chunks. You don't even know they're there. But yeah, that, that's all I can say about that. Enjoy playing RL Craft or don't, whatever. If you find a mod pack that doesn't work, I highly recommend you just to move on to the next one.